Welcome everyone to David Dudley Outdoors, and this is going to be an exciting series for me. Like, I am so excited to get your comments on this series. I, I can't even stand it. I can't even, I want to hit post, and I, I want to be like, who's the first comment or who's the second? Like, I want to read your comments. Okay, so as you can tell in the uh, thumbnail, forward-facing sonar, snagging, this series is going to be a series of where I want, I, I want you to comment, you know that. I want you to suggest some things. I want to hear if your opinions on whether or not you think things are ethical, not ethical. I'll lead you along in this series, but it's going to be a fun series for me. But my main goal in this is I want you to think, if you were a tournament director, and tournament directors have never been faced with forward-facing sonar. They've never been faced with uh, this technology. And rules have got to change. Rules have got to adjust to the technique that we're using with forward-facing sonar or adjust the rules to make things black and white to where no assumptions are being made. Okay, so here we go. Forward-facing sonar, leagues have always had this in the rules. When sight fishing for bass, the bass must be caught inside of the mouth. Now, the intent of that rule is to keep people from intentionally snagging, like taking a lure when that fish is sitting still, whether it's on the bed, spawning, post-spawn, it doesn't matter. It could be in November and the fish is up in the underneath a, you know, a tree just sunning and snagging it. It doesn't matter. We focus on the spawn, but the the rule is saying, hey, if you ever see a fish with your eyes and you catch it on the outside of your mouth, it's illegal. You cannot snag it. Intentionally, you cannot snag it. Okay, fair enough. But where some controversy is starting at now is the tournament directors are now faced with the decision of micromanaging the rules because of forward-facing sonar. They've never been faced with this. And I don't think it's fair to put the weight on an angler. I don't care if you're a club, high school, AAA, or professional league. It's, it, it, the tournament director is put in place to make rules, rules. So some organizations are saying this, they, they are trying to combine sight fishing with your eyes and sight fishing with electronics. There's two different things. You can sight fish, visually see the bass moving from the right to the left, moving away from you. You can look at perspective. You can see him go over to a log. He's swimming to the third fork of the log. He sit. You can see everything that bass is doing. Could be a gar, could be a carp. I don't know, but we're assuming it's a bass. So I need your opinion. Some tour tournament organizations are stating that if you visually see a bass, and let's just say it's at the spawn time of the year. It doesn't matter. Let's say it's in November and you visually see a bass and you creep by him and you see a bass there. Could it be a November spawner? It could be in hot water discharge lakes. But let's say you see a bass and I go, oh, there he is. And I ease by him. Oh, he didn't move. That fish is still there. He didn't move. So I take my boat and I go way away. Whew, okay, he's still there. So I get 60 feet away from him, point my boat to him. There's no way in hell I can see that fish. No way in hell I see that fish. And I take a lure. I don't care if it's a nethead, a lizard, a crawdad, a wacky worm, or whatever. 
Now I switch my eyes from visually seeing my human eyes, oh, there he is, to looking at my unit. There he is. I see a blob on my Lowrance right there. There he is. And I take and I throw my lure over there. I cannot see him with my human eyes. I did see him at one time. I did. Now, tournament directors are saying, David, you need to determine whether that fish is spawning. You need to determine whether it's a fry garter. You need to determine whether it's a pre-spawner, post-spawner. What the hell? What stage? Because stage matters in the rules. The tournament directors are saying, if it's a spawner, rules are set this way. If it's a pre-spawner, if it's a post-spawner, oh, it's okay. There's certain rules for different stages of the fish. But if I visually see a bass first, and I take my boat, and I lose, I can't see that fish anymore. And I take my boat, and I go way around. And now I'm using my electronic eyes. And I throw over to that fish. And that fish goes down on it. And doop. Ah, oh, yeah. And I set the hook. And he had my lizard tail by the tail. And I catch him on the outside of the mouth. Legal or not legal? Are you following the rules? What, what set of rules are you following at, 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 at that time? I want your opinion because if, if that's a statement and I, let's just pretend I threw it a brush pile, whether I saw a fish or not, let's say I'm, I'm seeing that fish on a brush pile. I throw over there by the brush pile with a robo worm, throw over there, I watch my drop shot go down, I watch him come over there. And guess what? That little spotted bass had it. That smallmouth had the back end of my Dudley finesse worm on the back. I set the hook. I caught him on the outside of the mouth. What's your statement then? Huh? What's your statement then? I want you to comment. And I, I can't get excited enough. I cannot wait to start reading your comments. I want you to structure a rule. How would you... How would you make a rule for this scenario because this series that I'm getting ready to give you a series of 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 uh, a podcast I want your your opinion I want your comments and I want to see how you would fix the situation because with forward face and sonar tournament organizations are now going to be forced to do what they've never been able to force to do, they got to restructure their wording. Because I want to have a clean conscience. I don't want to assume because the tournament director is putting weight on the angler and saying, David, or whoever you are, when you saw that bass, what stage was he in? Because it matters. Because if it was a spawner, then you can't catch him on forward face and sonar. And if you snag him, you got to throw him back. Oh, but if it's in September... And I saw a bass and I turned around. If it's in September and I see him busting, I saw a big one come up. I visually saw a fish and I watched him swim back down to a brush pile and I throw something over there and I catch him and snag him on the outside of the mouth. He's got to be thrown back. That's how some rules are stating it. Guys, there needs to be a structure for four. I want a clean conscience. I want a clean conscience that says, hey, because in sight fishing, the further you sit away from that bass, the better chance you have on hitting and catching him. Now, the intent of the rule is for using your eyes to visually snag a bass. Now we can visually use our electronics to fish for a fish way far away. We're not looking at him with our human eyes. Guys, leave a comment below. Hey, make sure you check out the description. This is important. I have so many discounts. You can get discounts on batteries, fish vault, hunt vault, 
the lures that I've been throwing, click on the description below. Make sure you check them out. I have links to everything in there. Make sure you smash the subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss this video, this series, because we're going to get in some hot stuff. And if you're one of the guys that say a great comment in this series, I am going to do a shout out and light you up for that comment. Guys, I appreciate you and we will see you again at another video.